When it comes to amateur 3D printing, nothing beats investing in a solid 3D printer that is specifically made for beginners. Regardless of whether you're looking for the budget 3D printers, or just want to have the best printer that money can buy, we have an option for you. In this video, we're gonna be checking out the top 3D printers for beginners in the market today. You can find links to the products in the description. If there's any other product you'd like us to review, please comment down below. So, without further ado, let's get started with the list. Ultimaker 3 offers more flexibility and dual extruder support than its predecessor, making it a very attractive 3D printer for serious users. It's not cheap, though. The Ultimaker 3 has the same white plastic design as the Ultimaker 2, with built-in LED lights that give it a sci-fi look. The standard model that we looked at measures about 13.5 by 15 by 15.5 inches, so it will take up a fair chunk of your desk space. Much to your delight, the UM3 will be up and running almost immediately after leaving the box. Ultimaker put in some extra effort to make its latest machine more simple and approachable for beginners, and it shows. All you really need to do is insert the glass build plate, plug the machine in, and flip the power switch. The printer will take care of the rest. You'll be very impressed with the Ultimaker 3's print quality. The printer will handle all of your difficult test models smoothly, producing very attractive prints with great detail, and smooth, clean surfaces. Even in the fastest draft mode, you'll found that the prints will look great, with very few glitches, or problems. Overall, the Ultimaker 3 is a formidable machine, supports a lot of materials, has flexible, easy-to-use software, and the dual extrusion system capably lives up to the quality of its single extrusion predecessors. Build quality is solid, and performance, and reliability are excellent. However, dual extrusion on the Ultimaker 3 comes at the cost of speed, think double, triple, or even quadruple the print times. The Lulzbot Mini is the entry-level machine of the Lulzbot line of 3D printers. In our tests, the printer performed strongly on print quality, and scored high marks due to its automatic print bed leveling feature. Points are being deducted for noise when printing, and the lack of onboard controls. The Lulzbot Mini is a moving bed design printer, with a direct drive extruder, a full metal hot end, and a heated print bed. The powder-coated aluminum chassis has a medium-sized footprint 43 by 34 by 38 centimeters, that makes for a build volume of 3,650 cubic centimeters. The printer has an open frame design, making it relatively light, and portable with a total weight of 8.55 kilograms. The machine feeds on 2.85 mm filament, and its open format filament system combined with its operating temperature range of up to 300 degrees Celsius, allows it to print a wide range of materials. The build plate is made of borosilicate glass covered with pay print surface, and reaches a maximum temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. Connection to the PC is via USB, their Mini does not have any onboard controls or SD card slots. An interesting detail is the white pad at the back of the build plate, which the printer uses to wipe the nozzle before starting a new print. Also noteworthy is the fact that, in true RepRap spirit, quite a few parts of the machine are actually 3D printed. Overall, there is a lot to like about the Lulzbot Mini. It has an attractive design, and provides high-quality prints at good speed. It is flexible, handling a wide range of materials that are unknown factors with other 3D printers, and the software is mature, and easy to use. The Mini costs significantly more than competitors like the Cube 3, and DaVinci AO. However, the Lulzbot Mini printer is better than both rivals' offerings. Its extra cost is justified by its greater flexibility of printing materials, and the higher quality of its prints. The Form 2 delivers high-resolution parts at a fraction of the cost, and footprint of industrial 3D printers. It allows you to scale your prototyping, and production in-house with desktop stereolithography. The Form 2 is an SLA printer, which means it prints by firing an ultraviolet laser into a thin layer of liquid resin between the print head, and the bottom of the print tray. Once hit by the UV light, the resin solidifies. The Form 2 shares the same simple overall design as its predecessor, with an orange plastic hood sitting over the simple silver box, 
that holds the laser and electronics. Both are slightly bigger than on the Form 1 Plus, and a color touch screen has replaced the LCD display. This screen means that you can start, stop, and pause prints from the printer itself, which makes controlling things much easier. During printing, the screen shows the progress of the print, and an estimate of how long is left. We found that the Form 2 produced prints of excellent quality, with very fine deep shapes. The print detail and excellent reproduction of our test model's shapes. The printed parts needed little trimming or cleaning, and fitted together well. It's also quite a bit faster than the first generation, somewhere around 30 to 40 percent. This speed boost comes from the machine's more powerful laser, which solidifies the photopolymer resin about 50 percent faster, and with more precision. The Form 2 is, hands down, one of the most detailed, and dimensionally accurate printers we've ever used. The resolution is so good, you can barely see layers. Fine details come through in ways that FDM printers can only dream of. Bridges, and unsupported spans? Bring it on! Tiny objects with extremely precise dimensions? Absolutely no problem. Overall, although it might be a bit expensive, there's just no other alternative to Form 2. As a beginner, all you have to do to set up the Form 2 is unbox it, plug it in, install a print bed, and space, then connect it to USB, or a network. It's all very simple. The Form 2 is an excellent 3D printer, that can produce high-quality prints with very clean, sharp edges, and fine reproduction of subtle details and we can't recommend it enough.